showing a combination of somersaults, great acrobatics, dance combinations. They have to include a double somersault, a somersault with a twist, a dismount. They have to show great landings, dance combinations, eight difficult elements, as well as combinations of acro and dance and musicality and choreography. The number one qualifier going first, as they have uh, for all these competitions. Uh, it's worked for some, but not for others. Uh, Maria Paseca didn't end up being first after the competition. Alia Mustafina didn't have any problems after going first. Uh, Anna Dementieva didn't quite work out for her, so being first in the uh, qualifications of a you know, mixed impact, really. As we see uh, Ksenia Afansieva, very popular gymnast in the Russian Federation, 14.75 was her qualification and she's ready for a floor routine. She was a world champion on this piece of apparatus in 2011, Tokyo World Championships. She's the current European champion, so she has the pedigree to do the job today. Great opener, double straight, nailed the landing. Two ribs through to a triple twist, did well to stay in the floor. Beautiful spin, great expression. the floor on that two and a half twist punch straight front that'll cost she's performing some exquisite work Double pike somersault out of the floor again. The red flag's up. Yeah, twice crossing the line. Mike Cost in this uh, esteemed company. Yes, a few errors for uh, Afanasieva. Breathing very heavily at the end of that routine. Such a demand on the body. This worked for 90 seconds. It's been a tough day for her. Remember, she was there on the, uh, the vault earlier. Day. Just going over the line twice. Just taking too many risks, you think, Paul? Or is well, it fatigue? That was one. Well, she's just, way out there. Yeah. yeah, just a little bit over, running maybe a little bit too much energy into that tumble. These are very bouncy floors, aren't yes. they? I know you're speaking to a couple of gymnasts, and maybe yes. that is one of the reasons for that as well. It's a new system floor for the company, and a, a lot of gymnasts are finding it extremely bouncy. It's not standardized. Explain that for our viewers. How is it the bounce that's different? What, what else is different in floors around the world? Well, every time you go to a competition, the floor, the elasticity of the floor is slightly different. Gymnasts will have a, a real feeling for their own floor. Uh, when you put it on a podium, it's a different sort of bounce to the floor that's in the training gym around the back of uh, the arena. So it's very hard to get the experience and the practice to, to understand the bounce. There's the score. Now it is 14 3 5 0. Oh. So it's one of the events where uh, home has home advantage. On to our second gymnast, Kim Bowie. Lots of experience there. I don't know if she's uh, had much time to work out on this particular floor. Let's see what uh, the German can do. Kim Bowie. A great competition so far. One routine to go. Spin into the first tumble. Pull him back out. Powerful gymnast B. Good work, very elegant. 
He looks confident. Working away into the corner with those dance combinations. It'll build the connection and the difficulty rating. Double back somersault. Mount to go. She's safe, double pike. And Bui rounds off a great Universiada with a good performance on the floor. Great work from Kim Bui. Does rate the floor as her favourite uh, apparatus, so we shouldn't be surprised if she's a, a real challenger, a great all rounder, backs of experience, competing on the international circuit since 2005. One of the, the older gymnasts here at uh, 24, getting. Uh, the applause from Tamara Koklova. Kim Bui, the German, suffered that dreaded uh, cruciate ligament injury three years ago and uh, has recovered really well from that. Brave gymnast, great mental approach as well. Look at the height on that. Yeah, she'll be satisfied with that. Good performance from Bui. She'll sit back and uh, I use the word relax, but at least know that her competition is over. All that energy, adrenaline just like seeping out of her now. She can just see what that performance will uh, mean. Surely it's going to be number one for the moment, but there's still seven to go. Remember, there are nine in this final, unusually. Crowd looking forward to the next performance. Shouts of Alia. For our next gymnast. Yeah, I'm waiting for Mustafina again. Popular. Such a popular and talented gymnast. One of the biggest sports stars, well, in Germany, only 13.7 for Kim Bui. Yes, yeah, not quite the start score, 5.4. Disappointed with that. Well, so for the moment, Afansieva on top. Crowds over Alia. Here is uh, Alia Mustafina. With a bag full of medals so far. And she had another one. Three golds. One silver. Silver as well. And a final go. Beautiful double Arabian start. She means business. Two and a half twist into a straight front. Triple twist, a few wobbles. She's on her feet. The spin. A few seconds to go for the dismount. Shouts of Davai around the arena. Go, Alia. Oh. Three days of competition, taking the strain. Mustafina on the final tumble, putting her hands down. There go the chances of another gold medal. Well, she's given it absolutely everything, Mustafina. There was bound to be pressure on her to get fit for this competition. And uh, she was in and out of the team. And uh, initially, Katerina Kremenko, Kremenko rather, was uh, in the team. But Mustafina got the nod. Yes, recovering from that bout of, bout of flu is going to have quite an impact on the energy for a floor routine. Yeah, she couldn't train for uh, nearly a week, and uh, coach of Geni Grebyonkin finally, just before the university, had saying she's spoiling for a fight. I'm sure he meant that in the best possible way. She 
just wanted to come here and win as many medals as possible. And whatever happens, whatever mark she gets here, it's been a superb Universiad for Alia Mustafina. Three golds, silver, might not be a gold medal performance. So one never knows. You know, there might be nerves around in the other gymnasts to come. Afensieva score 14.350, certainly beatable. And uh, her work is done, finally. <laughs> Yeah, she can rest and relax. Well, the World Championships now, I guess, uh, is, is the next uh, target. End of September, so a bit of recovery time. And uh, speak a, bit, a little bit later about what that means. How she'll prepare between now and those World Championships. Just how yes. much time off, if any, do you think she might get? Very tough year for some of these girls, Mr. Fina. Who competed in the European Champs a few months ago. Now peaking again for the Universiada. And then no time for rest before the World Championships in Antwerp in a few months' time strapping coming off so interesting what you're saying there so from now we're in mid-july end of uh, september there's no rest basically for uh, alia maybe a few days but straight back into the gym a week of rest is a long long time for these gymnasts it takes a long time to get back to fitness they need to keep on the boil waiting for the score just cutting off uh, a bit of strapping Rank three, it's 12.875 for her. That's a, a poor score, she knows it. But let's not take anything away from uh, Mustafina. She's had an absolutely superb Universiad. Her number is 134. She has uh, one silver, three golds, and four medals. Chance to see now Elsa Garcia with her one chance at a medal. And she's a great worker on this piece. Beautiful double straight. Long lines, good style, great expression. Classic gymnast. Oh, falling back out. Beautiful dance, great leaps, combined with powerful tumbling. Two and a half twist straight front. She's going well. She has one dismount to do. She can stick this landing. It could be a great result for Garcia. Double pike, she's out of the floor, but she's on her feet. Super job from Elsa Garcia. Coach is very happy with that. She took a risk. She opted not to compete in two of the finals she qualified for in order to concentrate on this, her main event. Did the gamble pay off? We're about to find out. Miguel Ortiz and Jose Antonio Martinez making that... Uh but you could say it's a gamble. Some people say it's not a gamble. It was a wonderful routine from the Mexican. Such a, a graceful gymnast. One of the taller girls here at uh, 1 meter 65, which for this level is, is quite tall and quite to watch. Yeah, so unusual to see someone that tall performing such difficult tumbles, double straight. Will she join her teammate, Daniel Corral, who, of course, got the silver medal on pommel horse? This could be a good result for Mexico. In the qualification, she fell on a final tumble, did a great routine, put her hands down, managed to stay on her feet this time, stepped out of the floor. We just have to wait and see if she's done enough to get into those medals. 14-3-5-0, the two friends at Afansieva and Mustafina. Surely it's good enough to, to challenge Afansieva. Elsa Garcia. Smile, 23 years old, so coming to the peak of her career made the olympic games in london last year great experience mexican mm. fans here waiting they would be delighted to be party poopers here even the russians though to be fair they were applauding and they, they know that was a really good routine 
they're a gymnastics fans first here. They, they enjoyed that. Obviously, want their, their women to win, but it was good from Garcia. Would it be good enough for uh, the Mexican? 14-3-5-0. Oh. So that magic number for her. Well, still some very good uh, gymnastic go. Uh, British candidate next in the form of uh, Denisha Francis, but it's all about Garcia. No, not enough, and that's uh, disappointed the Mexicans, and uh, that's, uh, that's a shame for her, but it's still a fancieva. Oh, we thought it wasn't the best routine from her, but it's good enough. Well, she's in silver medal position. Can she hold on to it? Was it that step over the line after that double pike? Yes, I think so. She was out of the floor. There'll be a, a penalty. What's the typical penalty for... Uh, if both feet are out, it's three tenths, and then uh, the step as well, so it's expensive. Here goes Danusha Francis, Great Britain. Qualified third. the double pike somersault looks confident second double somersault very secure landings through the dance combination showing great musicality and enjoying her work it's good to see Final tumble, aggressive approach, two and a half twists in that back somersault, and great smiles from Danusha Francis. Super job. 19 years old. There's uh, Vince uh, Waldock, we were speaking with him yesterday. Uh, she learned her trade at the Heathrow uh, Gym Club with Vince, and he'll be delighted with that, even though she's now studying in the States. So, Danusha Francis, she's really enjoying her time here from uh, Coventry in the, the Midlands of England, but uh, now based in the States. Just talk us through some of the highlights of that. Yes, yeah, great work. Two and a half twist, two double somersaults, good dance, and had a great time, I think. Nice way to round off your Universiada. 13.7 well, is the medal position for the moment. Yes, there's been some mistakes, so the door is open. Yeah, Francis got that in uh, qualifying. Mm. Let's wait and see. 13.750, in fact, so well, that really would be a surprise. As confident as a man he is, Vince, he wasn't really hoping for any kind of medal. She's fourth, which is very creditable. 13 4 5 0 oh. for Danusha Francis. You can see what she thinks of that. Absolutely delighted. With uh, still some good names to go, though. Yes, four gymnasts to go. Can Garcia hold on to that medal position? Ellie Black, some, uh, earlier on the beam. Very talented young Canadian. Already has one bronze medal under her belt. Great combination of twisting somersaults there. Powerful tumbler. Interesting front somersault through to a double tuck back, managed to stay in the floor. Good work. Double twist forwards.
Ellie Black competing, uh, completing rather her four days of work here. There's, uh, Garcia currently silver. Ellie scored 13.6 to qualify for this final. Set the routine. Two and a half twist step out through to a double twist backwards. Dominant figure in the Canadian gymnastics at the moment. Did excellently in the, the nationals there. You see why. Classy display. Just turned 18. The Canadians, uh, team leader Rachel Vallel. What's this uh, vast country, Canada? Quite hard to get them all together. They're from all four corners of uh, that uh, big nation. <laughs> Can't quite believe uh, she's here, I think. There you go. Quick smile for the camera. Will she get 13.7 uh, to get above the Kim Bui or 13.75? Yes, joint second. 13.75 for Ellie Black. And suddenly, Afansieva's score of 14.35 is looking really good. Absolutely. She went over the line twice, Afansieva. At the moment, it doesn't matter. Angelina Kislap. She has a, big, a big start scored as uh, Afansieva. And it could be enough. Here goes Kislap. the floor one and a half through to two and a half second Ukrainian woman we've seen in these finals working well up to a final tumble double pike somersault she's through the Kiev-based Angelina Kisler, who has two Universiad medals. She took up the bronze in the uneven bars two years ago and won uh, a team silver. Will she get a third here? That was a pretty competent routine. Yeah, Kisler. She, she was the ninth place gymnast, had the same score as Noda Sakura. 5.4 start score and both scored 13.55. Hence the unusual sight of nine gymnasts in the final. Scored 13.55 in qualification, so she'll be close to this pack of medalists. Sneaked into the final. She's justifying her uh, place here. Number 13.750 is uh, current silver for uh, two gymnasts. Black and Garcia at Afonsieva way ahead at the moment. So the nervous wait. We've seen some good performances from the men. Haven't talked too much about uh, Kisla showing her worth. Angelina Kisla at seven of the nine. Here's the score. And it's sixth, 13.225. So well back. Only one score above 13.750. Yumanobi. It's actually Noda Sakura. Teammate from Japan. Quite round on that triple twist.
Nice combination, one and a half twist backwards into the punch, full twist. Managing to stay inside the boundaries of the floor, very important. Avoid deductions. Double pike somersault, a short landing. Slip up at the end from a Sakura Noda then. That might cost her. Remember, 14.35 is the top score for the moment. 13.750, perhaps more of a realistic target for Noda with Minobi to come. Is it fatigue? The level is not quite as high as it perhaps might be. A lot of mistakes. It will be. Sure it's the, the last day in a long campaign. Hard job for these gymnasts. And it's a long day as well, remember. these. Some of these girls started 3 o'clock this afternoon after six hours. They're still performing routines. Coming up to 9 o'clock local time in Kazan. It's the fourth of four days of competition, and we've really enjoyed it here. We've had some top-quality performances. <coughs> ask you a little bit later on if there were just two or three standout performances and two or three standout performers while we wait for Sakura Noda's score. It's been all about that D score, Afansieva 6.3. No one else uh, managed to get above 5.7. So that really does make a big, big difference, 0.6, and that's the gap. Absolutely. She had some errors, Afansieva, but saved by the D score. And penalties, yeah, 0.4 of a pen. Would that, that would have been for going over the line twice. Yes, three tenths for both feet and then one tenth on another tumble for one foot. So it just shows you can put that out of your mind, keep going, still capable of getting a goal despite uh, going over the line twice. And that was the very first uh, performance, of course. Oh, yes, never give up. You don't know what your competitors are going to do. Tanisha Francis, a very creditable fifth at the moment. Noda waiting. And waiting and seventh. 13.050. It's the time for you, Minobi. Won a gold medal two years ago at the Universiad. On the beam, on the uneven bars. Could you get another one here? It's a big ask. You, Minobi. Final performance for you, Minobi, and for the women's competition. Perfect landing on that double back somersault. One and a half punch full, finding the floor, working well. Triple spin into the dance combinations, leaps. 180 degrees split, a change of tempo. Just the dismount. Double pike somersault. Another stuck landing. Good routine. Humanobi, one of the greats of recent university, has to say. Her uh, teammates cheering her on. She's got uh, three golds two years ago, one in the team and uh, two individual. And she's here still competing again. Great smile. They're a happy bunch, the Japanese. They're having a wonderful time here at this Universiada. This is a good routine. Very, very few technical mistakes there, I think, Paul. Yeah. Might not be the greatest of start scores, but well executed. So that's uh, the last on the floor. Can she get 13.75, pick up a medal? 14.35, perhaps beyond her and... Uh, 
you, Minobi. <laughs> Score coming through in a few seconds. Can you, Minobi, get another medal, I wonder? No, she's just out, fifth place. 13-5-5, and it's another gold medal for the Russian Federation. It's uh, Afansieva this time who's got it. The gamble paid off for Elsa Garcia, who has taken a silver medal, the second medal for Mexico, tied with Ellie Black of Canada. A great result for those two gymnasts. Xena Afansieva. She's got three golds as well, you know, Paul. She's creeping up there. Remember, she got uh, the vault gold today. What a fantastic night she's had. Whatever her uh, coach said to her this afternoon, it's paid off. We'll be back in a few seconds then for the final competition, the high bar.